Please welcome our next state auditor, Rob Sand. Hey, everybody. Let's see here. I was told there would be a uh, teleprompter, but I don't see one. So I'll just do this. Yeah, that's right. I don't need one. It's fine. Uh, look, first things first. What I need to do first is thank my wife, Christine. Uh, you have been a rock throughout this process. You've been my biggest supporter in every way, and it means a lot to me. Uh, Christine, my wife, is not only a, uh, an accomplished professional. She's also a great mom to our two-year-old and four-year-old who are home in bed right now. And I appreciate everything you've done, not just for me, but also for them. So... I guess what I would say to her would be, uh, in every contest for every superlative, you might win except one. I'm the luckiest. <laughs> I also want to say thank you to so many of my supporters out there. Thank you all so much for your support. Thank you for your votes. Thank you for your work. Thank you for your... Uh, emotional support, everything that you have done for me throughout this campaign has meant a great, a great, great deal. Thank you. We started this campaign a little bit over a year ago. And a little bit over a year ago, I started it by saying, there is an underappreciated office in this state. There's an office in this state that could do a lot more for Iowans. But if it's going to do a lot more for Iowans, it needs new leadership. And we talked, and that's why tonight I am so happy to say that Iowa, we're going to wake up the watchdog. And that Iowa tonight said, now you may have heard this, you may have heard this, I'm not a CPA. I, it's true, it's true. But the other part of the truth is most of Iowa State Auditors have not been. And we have been uh, in a point now where the other division of the office, the investigator division, investigations, that's my work, that's what I do, has been neglected and underappreciated. And it is time to change that because Iowans need more information about what is going on with their taxpayer dollars, and they need it more quickly. But we haven't just talked about that. We've talked about a couple of other things. It's not just a race where we are trying to wake up the watchdog. It's not just a race about making sure that this office looks at both parts of what its obligations are equally. We are also trying to make a positive impact on the state. And another way we can do that in this office, not just by poking counties and cities when they're making their changes, but by partnering with them and doing something positive for them. And that's what it comes down to with efficiency recommendations, with being able to tell them things that they can do to save your money as taxpayers at the county level and at the city level with every single audit that this office does. And we're going to start doing that when I am state auditor next year. A big piece of that is what excited me to run for this office in the first place. The idea that we can have a positive impact on our state. It's something that I've had a passion for doing ever since growing up in Decorah. I spent my last two years in high school getting a skate park built up there. That project helped me understand that Iowans, if they want to work together, can have a positive impact on their community. But it's not just about that. There's another piece of this too. It's not just about holding the office. It's also about the way we do politics in our state. I did not win the endorsement 
of the Cedar Rapids Gazette, but I think that I won the most important praise that either candidate got in their editorial, which is that we ran an honest campaign. The first time that I met my opponent, who I have to congratulate on a well-run race, I gave her my personal cell phone number. I said, if ever in this race I say something that is wrong, I want you to call me. I do not want to be out there saying something that is incorrect on this campaign trail. Please call me if I'm doing that. And I have done, and it's not just about running an honest race, it's also running, about running a race where you are reaching out to people that you disagree with. It's about having an opportunity to hear from people that you might not normally hear from. On our kickoff tour, nearly a year ago, we stopped in Sioux County. And we stopped in Sioux County because it is one of the most Republican states, counties in the state. And we stopped there because Democrats and Republicans need to start talking to each other more, not less. I also reached out to conservative groups during the campaign to talk to them because Republicans and Democrats need to be talking to each other more, not less. And that's something that we have provided, I think, leadership on. I'm happy and proud to have had support from not just Democrats and independents, but Republicans as well. Because I think if we're going to change our politics, if we're going to make our politics more healthy, we have to start, we have to start with the way we are interacting with each other. That has to be our priority. We have to start listening, we have to start talking to each other rather than shouting at each other. I think that's one of the reasons that in this race, not only did we have contributors from all parties, but we also had a record number of contributors for a race like this. Nearly four times as many people contributed to a state auditor's candidate this year than ever had in Iowa history before. And we were able to raise a record amount of money without any corporate PAC money whatsoever. In conclusion, I want to say one more time, thank you all so much for your support. Thank you for your votes. Thank you for your trust. And thank you for your hard work and helping us wake up the watchdog. God bless.